We are kicking things off with Figgy in Focus this afternoon and getting a closer look at an expedition underway right now at the Figgy Art Museum. Yeah, senior uh, co-curator Vanessa Sage is here. Uh, Vanessa, welcome back. Thanks for being here. Thanks Hello. so much. Uh, excited to talk to you today. This is the Rock Island uh, Art Guild Fine Arts Exhibition. Long name yeah. uh, and it deserves every bit of it uh, because it sounds like it's really something to see. It is. It showcases regional artistic talent, so about 200 miles radius from the Quad Cities. Uh, and all different media, watercolor paintings, performance video. So it's a, it's a great showcase of our local talent. And this isn't a new expedition. You've had it for about a decade. 2016 is when you uh, first got it at the Figgy, but it's been around the Quad Cities for much longer than that. Yes, it started in 1970, so we were lucky to partner with them in 2016, and we started hosting it at the Figgy Art Museum. So it's been around a long time. Yeah. A lot of the artists know about it already, but mm -hmm. this way uh, we get to have it in our wonderful, large, beautiful museum, yeah. Yeah. and uh, we actually, there's a lot of artists in it that we end up featuring in exhibitions later on, and that we have fe featured in exhibitions previously. Yeah. So. Very cool. Uh, and, and let's talk about that. So who submits work uh, to be included um, in this exhibition? Uh, you, you mentioned within a 200 mile radius of the Quad Cities, so we know they're, they're all regional. Mm -hmm. Yes, so they're all within that radius. We really want to highlight people within the Midwest. And mm -hmm. so that is why we have the, the radius of artists and we had over 500 entries wow. this year. Wow. So how do you narrow that down to yeah. choose the people who get to showcase their artwork in the expedition. So another great thing about this exhibition is that we have guest curators. So we are aware of a lot of the artists in our direct uh, region and so mm -hmm. we like or the local area. So we like to get people uh, new perspectives to come in every two years when the exhibition is held so that it's really, it's very subjective. So this okay. year it was Mia Lawfer from the Des Moines Art Center. She's the curator there. Okay. And uh, she selected them with this idea of after image. So it was things that stayed with her after the initial selection. So okay. she viewed all 500 entries and then it was those works that really kept popping back into her head and made her think about them after seeing them. That that's shows. amazing. I mean, that's what you want to do as, mm -hmm. as an artist or yeah. creative. Um, so uh, you kind of touched on this already, but describe the different art mediums um, that are represented in this exhibition, because I think people might be surprised um, to, to hear what some of them are. They're a little bit different from what I think people might think. Yeah, yeah I think you're right. Traditionally, we think about uh, art as just paintings, yep. but in there's there's paintings, there's sculptures, ceramics, there's performance. We've tried really hard in the past couple years to open it up to performance and video wow. and installation yeah. so that we can see the variety of artwork that's being made in our region. Yeah, I was just going to say digital art was highlighted as well. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, now with new technology, we always think of the digital forms of art. So, uh, you know, you obviously help kind of put on this exhibition. So what what's your favorite? Do you have a favorite piece in the exhibition that you want to kind of tease to the audience? Yeah. So I was really drawn to some ceramics that were in the exhibition. Uh, by an artist named Elizabeth Shriver, and they are very natural, organic forms like uh, plants or coral, mm -hmm. uh, and she hand builds them, and they have more uh, like raw, organic uh, finishes to them, so those are the ones that draw me in, but every time you go in, something different mm -hmm. will catch your eye. Catch your, yeah, it catches your eye. Well, something really cool that you guys do at the Figgy, uh, we have the chance to hear from some of these artists in person, because you are doing some of your really popular artist talks and those mm -hmm. are coming up as well. Yes, so those are April 11th and May 9th, and so we do that rapid fire style. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have several artists participating uh, both of those evenings, and they get up and they talk about their work uh, for a, a short period of time, so you get to hear from many of the artists included in the exhibition. And then you can, a you can ask questions yes. about mm -hmm. their process yeah. and all of that. Very cool. So, you know, if people haven't been down to this exhibit uh, in the ten, almost 10 years, I guess eight years now that you've had it at the Figgy, what should draw them down there? What, what do you think people should take away from it? I think just seeing the variety of artists at work in the region and that there is a wealth of creativity here. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people may think, you know, coastal yep. about yeah. art, but there's 
great art being mm. made in the Midwest, and we want to continue to show that and highlight that at the museum. Yeah, it sounds like a, an amazing exhibition. Uh, and uh, the Rock Island Art Guild Fine Arts Exhibition will be on display through June 2nd, so you still have time to go check that out. And for a look at other exhibitions and events at the museum, visit the website at figgyartmuseum.org. Vanessa, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thanks, Vanessa.